Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and welcome to my quilt block series. In each of these videos I'm going to show you how to make a different block and they're all going to measure 12 inches. I hope you like this video, if you do click the like button and please let me know in the comment section below what other videos you'd like me to make. Let's get quilting. This is my quilt block notebook and it's available on Amazon. The links are in the comment section below. And if you click on the link above, it'll take you to my video all about it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the Old Maid's Puzzle quilt block aimed at beginners. This will make a 12 inch finished block. I've made two Old Maid's Puzzle quilt blocks. The red version is for beginners and uses half square triangles, whereas the green version is for improvers and uses the shaded four patch. As you can see, the two versions do look different. I think the green version has a smoother appearance because there are less seams in it. This video is for the beginner's version of Old Maid's Puzzle and if you click on the link in the top right it will take you to the improvers video. And if you'd like to know how to use this block in a quilt please watch to the end of this video where I've got some illustrations to show you how to use it. You will need five four and a half inch squares in background fabric, four three and a half inch squares in background fabric. You will need two four and a half inch squares in fabric A and two three and a half inch squares in fabric A. In fabric B you will need three four and a half inch squares. Making the half square triangles. Draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the four and a half inch background fabrics. As shown here. Repeat with all four and a half inch squares. Match up with the three four and a half inch squares in fabric B. And match up with two of the four and a half inch squares in fabric A. Pin right sides together. Sew a quarter inch seam away from the drawn line on both sides of the drawn line. And repeat for all five pairings. Cut along the drawn line. As shown here. Trimming the half square triangles with a speciality ruler. I use the Quilt in a Day Triangle Square Up Ruler by Eleanor Burns. Keep the half square triangle folded as shown. Line the stitch line with a three and a half inch mark on the ruler. Trim along the sides of the ruler. And then trim the dog ears. As shown here. 
trimming the half square triangles with the standard ruler. Press the half square triangle open. Lay under the ruler with the diagonal seam under the 45 degree mark on the ruler. And line the bottom and left sides at just more than three and a half inches. Trim along the right and top sides. Turn the unit round, lining up the diagonal and the bottom and left sides at exactly three and a half inches. Trim along the top and right sides as shown. Repeat to make eight half square triangles. Block layout. Place your units in the block design. Pin the bottom row units together and sew with the quarter inch seam allowance. And pin the top rows together sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance. Return to the block layout. Pin the two halves together and sew with the quarter inch seam allowance. Return to the block layout and press the seams. Pin the columns together matching seams and points and sew with a quarter inch seam. And if you want to know how to get perfect points on your quilt blocks, then click on the link above to take you to my video on this. Return to the block layout and press your seams open. Congratulations, you have made the Old Maid's Puzzle quilt block for beginners. Here are some quilt options. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block. There is no sashing or borders. But the use of the white background fabric in a block allows the design and fabrics to stand out. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block placed on point. There is no sashing or borders, but you would need to add blocks in background fabric in between the blocks shown here with the stars. And use setting triangles around the edges, again shown here with the stars. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block but with sashing, cornerstones and borders. And finally, this is an illustration of a sampler quilt using some of the blocks from this quilt block series. The sashing in this quilt is in the white background fabric. The cornerstones and border is in a darker fabric to pop and frame the quilt. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. More of these videos will be posted, so please tune in. Thank you for watching and bye for now.